Hi friends, this is the Vento Volkswagen 1.6 litre petrol automatic uh, car. I am going to replace the stabilizer link bulb in this vehicle. Uh, it's almost 12 years. The stabilizer link bulb plays a very important role in the handling and stability of the vehicle and also enhances the tire life of the vehicle. It helps evenly distribute the weight of the uh, vehicle. It prevents body roll when we are cornering. Enhanced handling takes place if when this is okay and it also ensures that the tire is in touch with the road at all times. So this is, these are some of the functions of this uh, link rod that we will be replacing and this is an original part as you can see it is made in Germany. So there is a link rod on either side of the tires. So I will first remove the tires and there are two nuts that need to be removed and uh, I will show you the process after I have removed the wheel. Ok so I have removed the wheel and uh, safety is of paramount importance in any work that you are doing in a car. As you can see I have put two jacks there and there is a spare wheel underneath it. There is one more jack here. This I will remove and I will put some leverage here. Uh, this is the link rod that we will be removing. So it has a 16 number bolt, this is 16 number and you just need to put this in and anti-clockwise it will open. In case it doesn't open and it rotates along with this, so you just need a hex key, 4mm, you put that in between there and you can then remove this nut like that. If this doesn't work for you, then you can use a socket 16mm. and. It for leverage you can put an extension if you want. As you can see, I have removed the bolts from the link arm from the top and bottom but it is not coming out easily because of the weight on it. So I put a jack here and I will lift this upwards and then we will be in a position to remove the link rod. Okay, as you can see I put a jack uh, below the rotors uh, to lift uh, uh, this suspension arm, uh, uh, suspension mechanism a little upwards uh, because uh, this link rod being old uh, is very flexible so the entire weight of the uh, suspension is on it so it doesn't come out easily so by lifting it up I got some leverage and I was able to remove this link rod with ease as you can see it is playing freely it should not be there should be no play in this as such but as you can see it is quite free and this is the new one as you can see there is no play and this is very difficult to move it so that is the whole difference between an old one and a new one as you can see it's pretty flexible in its movements now I'll uh, replace the old one with the new one and uh, so I will start by putting it in the lower arm here and then this part I will put in here. It takes a little persuasion for it to go in but it's in there. I will just tighten the bolts here. No problem uh, inserting the link rod in its position. You can lift this jack up and down so that you get an optimum angle for it to enter properly and tighten it. So and the lower arm as well. I will tighten this here a little and then I will lower this jack. Tightening the lower end of it tighten the bolts here both ends uh, in in case you need to know whether this link rod is no, needs replacing is if you just shake it a little and if it's shaking then that is one symptom that it needs to be replaced but in my case I was unable to shake it but this angle was not straight it was like a little downwards so that gives you some indication that your link rod is uh, not working properly perhaps and anyway the car is like 12 13 years old so changing the link rod was okay yeah. the same process will will be 
featured in the left hand side uh, please don't do this work if you have poor knowledge of how things work and if you don't have the proper tools and safety is of paramount importance please be very safe doing this and i hope you like this video thank you